Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to set up the new Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition right from your phone. I'll guide you through the process step by step, making it easy and straightforward. The Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition is the first voice assistant designed to seamlessly integrate with Home Assistant. With its advanced audio processor and dual microphones, it can easily hear your commands and control your devices. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up quickly and effortlessly. To get started, connect your device to a USB power supply. Ensure you have a Home Assistant installation ready to go. Have your Wi-Fi network's SSID and password handy. Make sure the Home Assistant app is installed on your phone. With everything in place, you're all set to begin the setup process. After connecting your USB cable and power supply, you should see a warm white twinkle animation on the device. Open the Home Assistant app on your phone. Tap on Devices and Services in the menu. Your device should appear as discovered. Tap on Add to start the setup. You'll be prompted to set up your Home Assistant voice. Tap Submit to continue. On the next screen, enter your Wi-Fi credentials, the SSID network name and password. Once filled in, tap Submit. To authorize the device to access the network, press the button on the device. It will then connect to your Wi-Fi. And just like that, this step is complete. Press close to proceed. Now let's give your device a voice. Start by tapping the add button under Home Assistant Voice, which should appear as discovered on your screen. Tap submit to confirm that you want to set it up. The device will first search for updates. Once done, it will prompt you to say, okay Nabu, twice to ensure everything is working. Follow the prompts and complete this step. Next, select the area where your device will be located. For this setup, I'll choose Living Room and tap Next. After that, you'll be asked to choose between using the cloud or your local home assistant for processing. For this video, I'll show you how to set it up locally. Keep in mind that depending on your hardware, local processing might be slightly slower for voice commands. Tap the Setup button at the bottom right corner of the screen to continue. The Whisper and Piper add-ons will now be installed. The Whisper add-on converts your voice commands into text so they can be processed by Home Assistant. The Piper add-on converts the text responses from Home Assistant into speech, allowing the Assistant to respond to your commands. Once the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to select a wake word, the phrase used to activate the Assistant. Choose the Assistant and voice you'd like to use. I'll change the wake word to, hey Jarvis, and leave the other options at their default settings. And just like that, the installation is done. Now let's move on to some final configurations. Tap done to finish this step. Now I'm switching over to Home Assistant on my PC, but you can absolutely keep going on your phone. It works just as well on both devices. Next, let's expose some entities to your voice assistant so it knows what devices to control. First, go to settings and click on voice assistants. At the top of the screen, you'll see a tab labeled Expose. Go ahead and tap on that. Here, you'll find a list of all the entities that are exposed to the voice assistant. For your assistant to take action, like turning lights on or off, you need to expose the entities you want it to control. To do that, click on the Expose Entities button at the bottom right. From here, select the devices or entities you want to control with your voice. For example, I'm gonna search for Dining Room, select it, and then click Expose. Now that the entity is exposed, let's test the voice assistant. I'll head back to the dashboard to check the current state of the dining room light. Right now, it's off. Let's see if it works. I'll say, hey Jarvis, turn on the dining room light. And there you have it. Turned on the switch. The assistant responds, confirming that the light has been turned on. Looking at the dashboard, you can see the light is now on. All right, now let's take things further and create an automation. First, go to Settings and click on Automations and Scenes. 
At the bottom right, tap Create Automation and then choose Create New Automation. For this example, I'm going to set up an automation that makes the assistant announce the temperatures in several rooms every day at 10 p.m. This is just to give you an idea of what's possible. I'll cover more examples in future videos. Let's start with the trigger. Tap Add Trigger, select Time and Location, and then choose Time. I'll enter 10 p.m. into the Time Input field. Now let's add an action. Tap Add Action, select Assist Satellite, and then choose Announce. Next, I'll select the device where I want the announcement to play, in this case the Home Assistant voice. Then I'll enter the message I want the assistant to say. For now, I'll add a message to announce the temperatures in several rooms. Once that's done, I'll click Save and name the automation Announce Temperatures. I'll hit Save again to confirm. To test the automation, open the menu in the top right, the three dots, and select Run Actions. Here are the room temperatures, living room 20.5 degrees, suite 22 degrees, room 121.5 degrees, room 221.5 degrees. And there you have it. The automation is now up and running. It's as simple as that. In upcoming videos, I'll dive into even more ways to use this amazing voice assistant. So stay tuned. And that's it for this video. I hope you found this guide helpful and that you're excited to start using the Home Assistant voice in your smart home. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you want to see more tutorials, tips, and ideas for getting the most out of your smart home, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.